On this episode of the Gaming Podcast, episode 61, Nintendo analysts say there's going to be no Switch 2 announcement happening this year, Star Wars Outlaws have a new, has a new creative director, and Halo 2 has brought a little special gift. Hello, welcome to the episode of the Gaming Podcast, episode 61. You want Pokemon Trading Card Edition? Let's see what you got, Riley. Come on, break it out already. I'm doing pretty well. Yeah, I'm doing pretty I, well. I, I I got, I'm doing. all three of the alt I, I never said how you're doing. <laughs> I'm doing incredible. So yeah. I, thank you for thank you for not asking. Um, I've got yeah. all three of the alt arts, and I've got some of the other ones here. Mm-hmm. It's uh, it's pretty good. Yeah, it's going well for me. Yeah, instantly got the Lapras. I'm pretty sure I was probably the first one in the group to start it. They didn't get yeah. no, get nothing. Just that was my third promo mankies. pack. I got two yeah. of them. Okay, you know what? I pulled, I can we two. just can we just stop the podcast? I, I don't want to be here anymore. <laughs> the first is not. It hasn't even speech. been a minute yet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hasn't even been one minute. Steve's done. Oh my god! Well, uh, how are you, like, Riley? Besides that, you're good. I'm I'm doing great right now. Awesome! Awesome! <laughs> oh, oh, Sammy, welcome back. Thank you, thank you. It's you're been here, a while. You're here to uh, make sure we we don't misbehave. Good luck. Yeah, and like I felt like I needed okay. to because you know also like Carly, oh. I've been you know look at those you know, polls. You, you know, you it's, know, it's just ridiculous. Upset. You gotta change your name to Sammy Polls. Ah. Uh, <laughs> who we? I think. Oh, me and Riley are tied right now, at least in my friends for highest score or level right now, level fifteen. 15? Yep. Whoa, I'm all in doing them battles. Behind. It's the battles. The battles help a lot. Yeah. Apparently, they're like even keeping an eye on like if like people if player counts are slowing down. They're like, all right, we'll just release a new pack now. Like they have packs it's ready. It's been to like go. a week, brother. People, listen. <laughs> people <laughs> they were like, how much does this cost to get everything? 150. All right, let me just drop Lord, that down. Yeah. You know. Man. So like people, they, they're like, if they see people slowing down, they're like, all right, here's a new pack. They have them. It's like how many years this card has been around? <laughs> Too long. They have, pa- they have packs ready to go. They've been scanning these for how long I'm, now? I, yeah, I don't know. Like uh, the way that they've done this is so it's so clean. Like the Ooh. Pokemon trading card game is available on iOS already. Like the full yeah. one, mm-hmm. and you can play it and download it. And uh, if you buy a pack of cards, you get a code with it. Mm. You can redeem it that. But the the fluidity of this, the way the art style goes, the trading and stuff like that, like. It's just all so cool and really like form fitted to this, and I'm I'm just loving it. Well, that's I'm because you're winning. Yeah, <laughs> like, that you're is fair. Every card. Hey, that doesn't hurt. That doesn't hurt. I gotta I'm, be honest. Like, no. I'm gonna I'm gonna tell the truth here. I can't live. I can't live with this with this life. Riley Riley spent money on this. Did you not? I, I mean, spent thirteen ninety nine. Well, well oh, that's listen, actually plus plus like the five dollars extra or whatever. Thank you very oh. much. So that's oh. still like under twenty dollars. To be fair, I spent zero dollars, and my luck has been not as good as Riley's, but like fairly mm. fairly high. Yeah, Sam's been doing great. Mm-hmm. Sorry, Steve. Steve. Spend. <laughs> oh no, Steve, no. I just, Me? I don't know, just, oh, just a couple spend. bitter get, like Nothing. Betty's. In the I, oh, okay. okay. No, I, I refuse to put any money into this only because this is as, like, because <laughs> it hates you. Well, because it hates me and I hate it uh, in a small way, but because it's just, it's not even a game to me. <laughs> like, it, it, it's it, like when people say video games are a waste of time, this is the biggest waste of time in, like, it, as a video game for me. Oh, and let me explain. Let me explain first. Because I don't do the the battling portion. Anytime a battle comes up, it's auto battle. I put it to the side and I'm just typing on my computer. I, I don't know how to play the game. I don't want to know how to play the game. <laughs> I want the rewards. I want the dopamine hit of getting like a, a cool card, and then I put the 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 game away. This is probably the simplest game that I'm like. I never know how to play know. a training game. Never. Yeah, I'm like, oh, this is how it works. That's good. And I'm no, like, all right, now nah, I'll just even, auto battle. Even as a kid growing up, collecting the cards, and people would be like, "Oh, do you want to play?" I'm like, "No, I just I Pokemon exists specifically just to trade the things, get the things, get the dopamine hit, and oh, then man. like collect and oh, look no. at the pretty things. No. That's why I, I can't justify putting 
money into this game because it's not a game to me. It's just a collection of pretty things, and I get a dopamine hit every why, six hours. Why are you so heated about it? Because just, I'm not getting what I want out of this <laughs> game! <laughs> I'm surprised you don't like playing like the actual battles. I would say in the last seven days, fun. I've lost at yeah. least 13 hours of just battling. That sounds like a nightmare to me, to be honest. <laughs> Because you don't That's get kind of, anything out of it. I have a lot, Sammy. <laughs> you get you get the good experience of beating other people, you know? And especially, like, now, you, if you're versus other people, you'll get, like, those level 19s, and you're like, oh, shit, I'm fucked. Okay, but so then, I, have, I have not done, like, online battles. I've just been, like, grinding all the, the solos. Yeah, the solos. Same here. And, and yeah, to me, it's just, like, it's, it's whatever. I get no gratification of being like, oh, I beat an AI Okay, cool. that's fair you know and it, it, even if i did <laughs> all it does is go towards being able to unlock a pack with a like a small percentage of getting what i want from it it's 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 not even like a roguelite where you know you know there's a bit of mystery and rng in there it's just complete nonsense it's Com just complete, like just pure yeah. transactional for you that's it that's all it is to me so yeah it's fun like don't get me wrong i'm still playing or like going on all the time but i can't justify putting money into this game you know, it's it's. I'm not saying to spend any money on the game or anything, but I I feel like Pokemon can feel your hate aura. There's, there's oh, like guaranteed. That, this guy. Yep. Give him like whatever the normal chances are. Give him ten percent less. Like yep. less than that. You know. That's you, just you, you know when you hear oh this person's a whale, so maybe like <laughs> under they're like okay this person spent two hundred dollars a month. Maybe give yeah. him like a a percentage boost just to keep him. I'm the opposite where they're like oh, yeah. oh this guy hates his life so he much does, while yeah. playing this game. We're gonna decrease it just to <laughs> make it more torturous. And I guarantee that's what's happening to me. Oh, <laughs> listen here. that lap that lapras pull. I don't understand how I got nothing yet. I don't I don't I don't know. But I'm blaming Riley. Stole he took card. mine, I, I believe. Stole our cards, yeah. Right, yeah. <laughs> Got friends in high places. That's it. Uh, so Steve Agvari. Yeah. yeah, don't yeah, pull anything. Mess him up. Here's his friend code. Screw him up. It's all yeah. right though. I got I got a delicious monster energy. Oh. I'm gonna crack this open, get some double Yo. XP. Hey. That's wrong today. I have I have a, a cherry oh, hero. Nice. Oh, oh sure. Okay, that's fine. Triple up the caffeine today, really. Jesus yeah. Christ. I don't have anything. Sorry. I, 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 uh, Did you want to get something? Because now that's all right. I'm not. Finished. I can all host right. for 30 seconds if you want to. I run. already I already had some water. I'm good. I'm good. So. Water. Who yeah. drinks that? Ooh, Come on, that man. was a water. Crack. Yeah, was a water. Yeah, I, really, I held it close to the. You mic. don't drink water, Sammy. After all your workouts, you don't drink. You just like ah. Just when I'm consistently just, working I'm out, two four. I either drink like a gallon a day or nothing. There's like no fucking in between. For I me. mean, I also got like Jesus this guy yeah. here. <laughs> I have a bunch of those. I also have my little water bottle going here. Yeah, proud of you. Tiny. I'm a. I'm ahead of schedule right now. It's sitting at 5 p.m. Very nice. Damn. All right. Gotta stay hydrated, friends. Why did I say that like Borat? I was like, very nice. Very nice. <laughs> Wasn't he back on Fallon the other day? Or yeah. Was that the old, okay. No, no, no. He was there, yeah. He's coming back in Pog form, I guess. No. Uh, anyone try out uh, Nuketown this weekend? <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, did, I ever... oh, did we ever play Nuketown? <laughs> <laughs> How yeah, is okay. it? I didn't have a chance to try it out yet, actually. Mm -hmm. How is it? I mean, it's, Newtown, baby. it's yeah. like Newtown. Yeah. So there are the like, old one or is it the 2025 one? No, it's an old one, but they made yeah. two distinct differences. Oh. Um, so you can know. I mean, this is so in the weeds of like call of duty brain Nerdum. and everything but uh yeah. on the on the garden side you can no longer go up the staircase and like creep over the the railing to get around what? the corner and just like aim down sights you can't do that anymore and I, i'm pretty sure you don't have bullet penetration underneath the bus anymore either which kind of sucks terrible it yeah sucks. Oh, but it sucks. it's definitely it's fun to just frag out with friends i mean it's nuketown so absolutely it's cool. iconic for a reason Mm -hmm. I, you know, has, has anyone got like a nuke yet, or seen anyone get a nuke? No, no. I got. They're, they, they're, they're still really in the game cool. though, right? Or yeah, I think I mean, it's hard enough to get some basic kill streaks. It is so high, seven for UAV. Like, what the hell are they thinking? But it's like, yeah. <laughs> game's ridiculous. Who could say, man? Uh, say? I am close to prestiging though. Very oh. excited. Big news. All right. All right. There we go. I love that for you. 
Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah the, there is a nuke in in Black Ops Six. So like, what was it? it was like twenty four. It's thirty. Thirty kills. So good luck. Good luck getting that. That's not. I feel well, like I average nuke a couple of times in the original. Oh yeah. Well, the original it, was the original, like, definitely. But, yeah. What's well, like the average TDA? Like, are people getting like fifteen kills? Like, what's the average you're seeing in lobbies right now? Ooh, without a death, that's hard yeah. to say. Um, well, even with the death, just like who's at the top of the scoreboard right now? Are they like third? Are they getting to thirties, or is it like average? I mean, I, consistently, um, I'm I'm tr I'm usually uh, like in TDM thirty five, mm -hmm. but with deaths in there. Mm -hmm. um, I I can score high. It's just I I, I can't do the streaks. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I find this game is difficult for like keep up with the streaks and everything. I agree. Just, yeah, there's not there's not a much coverage and like or like I don't know. Rewind is not my favorite map at all. I I really don't like that map. It's just everyone's. It's just too many. There's too much stuff. To, like, yeah. I mean, it is the the preferential the nice nostalgic four map, streaks but, you know, yeah. or kill streaks. I for me, I like kill streaks because I I like just racking up the kills instead of just trying to stay alive. Um, yeah, I feel like playing slow and careful mm -hmm. just doesn't work okay. for me. Uh, did anyone try? Uh, did anyone try Dragon Age this weekend too? Yeah, yeah, I I, I, I haven't played. I uh, you got a finger up or I, I, <laughs> I, I, I got it, but I, I, I haven't played this. It yet. I just saw like, and I'm like, it's a flash of a finger. Too. It's only it's been cool, Pokemon right? for me for a week. That's yeah, it's, it. it's Pokemon. It's yeah, Pokemon. Hey, I don't blame you. Pokemon, I don't, I don't blame you. So, but uh, what did you think of Dragon Age though? Uh, I, I'm probably what, like five, six hours in. I'm uh, around there too. Yeah, yeah about. I, I think I'm still in the th fourth chapter. Okay. It's what it's what, right after you go through the crossroads. Have you gone that far? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I, where, picked, I, I made my you... choice of where to go. Wait, the cross. I don't remember what that is. <laughs> it's so, there's so much. There's so much stuff going on. There, there's a point is, where you're basically I, I, told, I, I like, got, you can I go got, to this town and something. recruit this person, or you can oh, go I to this town. Okay, no. okay. I, I got, I got, I reached the point where I got a, a, a special item. Got it. Okay, so I'm just a chapter yeah. or, or at a little bit after you. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. I, oh, I, I, I think. Yeah. I, I really like it. I think uh, the combat's a lot of fun. I like the party system. Mechanically, I think it's very sound. Uh, I haven't hit any kind of hitches or bugs or graphical mm -hmm. issues. It's running phenomenally on on Xbox. Yeah. Uh, have you Have you played the previous Dragon? Age? Like, are you like a huge Dragon Age fan or? No, I've only played Origins all the way through. Two, I skip completely, and then Inquisition. I was like, this just uh, this isn't me. Uh, I'm yeah. I'm a Mass Effect boy, so. Yeah. When it comes to bio Bioware games, I'm like uh, Dragon Age is kind of hit and miss for me. Uh, but after, news, the whole, there's no DLC, and the entire team's on Mass Effect now. Perfect, so. good. <laughs> Give it to me. Uh, the The nice thing is that after after the reviews came in, I was like, okay, this this, this actually sounds really good. So I might as well try see what it, see what it's all about, and maybe it will give me like a good vote of confidence for whatever next Mass Effect game actually turns out to be. Uh, and it kind of is. I, I'm I'm feeling really good about what Bioware was able to do. I think the, the systems are really nice. I just think that the dialogue is at most okay. At worst, yeah. it's just dog shit. It's just mm -hmm. like it's really, really bad for a fantasy really game. Yeah. It, it reminds me of Immortals of Avium, where it's like you're you're dealing with such high concept fantasy. Uh, they put so much into the lore, the codexes, and everything, and then they're yep. just having two characters talk like you and I would. Like, I don't have an issue with characters like swearing and stuff in most things, but it's I just think we weird. will speak better though. <laughs> If I see a dragon, I'd be like, "Oh my god, holy shit!" There's a dragon right there. Like you hear the urgency, they'd be yeah. like, "Oh, a dragon!" I'd be like, <laughs> it, "It's not even urgency? necessarily <laughs> the performances; is how they speak to each other." Where it's like, yeah. it, you're, you're just dealing with like elven words. names, and then all of a sudden the dude's like, "Oh shit, that's crazy!" I'm like, <laughs> "What? Oh, no, <laughs> what are we talking about?" Like it's just there's such a yeah. discrepancy with its 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 writing that I'm just kind of like, "Whatever." I don't. I'm not here for the story. I'm kind of just here for the set dressing and the yeah. combat, which it's really fun. I, I genuinely think that. No, I, I feel the same thing as well. Like, with, like I'm kind of not the biggest Dragon, Dragon Age fan either, but I'm having a good time with it. Visually, the game is really, really impressive. Runs really well. I'm, I'm on PC. Like, it's very, it's very beautiful. 
I don't mind even how like the character models look. I know people were like, "Oh, why is it like a Pixar uh, type of game? Like your character models look, look like a bunch of Pixar characters." But I'm like, I don't, I don't mind even seeing like I remember Morgan from the first game, and like I remember how they look. But I'm like, seeing Morgan, now, I'm like, oh okay, like and she's one of my favorite characters from like from the first one. Um, seeing her now, I'm like, oh, it's nice. It's refreshing to see like how she looks and everything in, in this in this new this, this new tale and everything. But yeah, that but that dialogue like. But and like as of late, I find dialogues in in some games are just horrific. Like I played Life is Strange, and that was another one. I was like, this dialogue is terrible. What is what is going on here? And that that was another one that was like that kind of upset me. It was a, it yeah, just became like an average game. Yeah, yeah, it was I, so like was expectations so were up here, and everyone's just like, yeah. eh. you're like, oh shit, Max is back. All right, maybe does she still have her powers? And then they're like. Hey, did you destroy the town? Or did you go with Chloe? I'm like, why is this even an option? Why did you just yeah. pick? Like, no, <laughs> you just say like, just say you just you save the town, and that's it. Chloe is yeah. dead. Sorry, this is the canon event. Could even have comic books and everything, and and then and then they just and then even if you pick like you you go with Chloe, they just ignore everything else. And I'm like, so wouldn't Chloe still be with you, or she'd be like, yeah, nah, your powers are too much for me. I we got to break up, girl. Sorry, you know, type of thing. <laughs> like, it's so dumb. But um, I I, find, I just it's just weird that there's been a, so much controversy with this game, and I know with the whole like, uh, I was, I was gonna do the voice, <laughs> the boop, uh, <laughs> the boop. Oh, Cammy, you missed so much. So. <laughs> the whole uh, woke movement, DT. Like, I don't think there's no agenda. That it's just bad writing, honestly. It, it, that that's just it and i know that i i've seen some of the clips where some of the you know more inclusive dialogue and cutscenes and stuff like that are in the game uh mm -hmm. and it has to me i i understand where people can kind of like rip on this only because it's not about the subject matter it's how it's written and presented and mm -hmm. for me i'm just like okay I, there's a there's a thousand different ways to make you know in inclusivity interesting and make it feel organic and tell an interesting story rather than kind of what i've seen but that being said i've, I've seen it out of context so i'm kind of interested to yeah. go through it and see it for myself and kind of form a, a better opinion on it no absolutely it, it's just uh, it's, it's just really interesting that people are so uh, just quick to hate on everything they do you didn't try the game you just you're just watching a clip from someone who is that that's their main target it's just like yeah, it's just totally just piss people off and everything so that's twitter uh, everyone's just gonna hate like right off the bat i feel like devs now have to prove that they're good versus like show that they're bad yeah so it's, true it's, but like, I, like it's just weird with with this game you kind of want to feel like you're in that world and like I haven't, I haven't, there's been a lot of games I played that like I haven't really felt like, man. I mean, I, I feel like I'm a part of this world. Like the last one I'll probably say was honestly Cyberpunk uh, Liberty Village as well. Like that was probably the last time I was like, damn, I really, I want to go back into this world. Like it was so cool. Like it, it, you could, you could feel, you feel like you're a part of that world in a way. And this has been a long. I think that's what people kind of miss from Dragon Age. They want to feel like, like how the first one was. Like you were involved in that world. And uh, I don't know. It's, it's no, I I completely agree. It kind of just yeah. feels like I'm existing in the story. I'm going. Yeah. Through. I'm I'm being told the story rather than say even Mass Effect, where it's like I feel like a, a ton of agency in that shepherd. That my shepherd is my shepherd. I'm in him, and you know, like it's just mm -hmm. it, yeah. I just don't feel that here at all. I'm just kind of going through the motions. Yeah, it's just it's, it's very hand holding. Like and like, oh, you should go this way, and then like two seconds later. You should really go that way. I'm like, bro, I maybe I want to look around. You ever thought about that? I'm the player. Yeah. <laughs> I caught this game. <laughs> right? like, I, also, Life is Strange does the same thing. Like, she gives you zero time to, like, oh, I should go. Maybe I should go to this office. I'm like, okay, well, maybe I want to look at something over here because something's glowing over here. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. I'm like, girl, I just spun you around. Like, give me a second. Like, come on. <laughs> what are you gonna say? Sorry. No, no, no. I was, I was gonna ask your opinions on the the dialogue choices because to me, I'm just this is another just really disappointing feature where you know in games like Mass Effect or even Fallout, you choose a dialogue option. And you want to put like agency on there to make it feel like whatever you're trying to get across comes across uh in dragon age uh the veil guard you usually have three where one's like a more compassionate one one's like a comedic one and the other is kind yeah. of like a, like a strong uh arm like i'm, I'm the like, leader yeah, yeah sort of and yeah, everything yeah, yeah yeah none of I, them translate to what i just said like no nope. <laughs> like you can choose nope. the comedic one where it's like i i want to go for straight laughs and there's no joke 
<laughs> no, it, it's nothing. It, it just, I, I feel like he just says it like in a lighter way. Like it's like, like we should go over there and instead of like, oh, we should go over there. Like that's all yeah. it is. I'm like, oh, that's you said the same thing. Like what you just said one lighter, one a little bit rough. Yeah, it's it's. I don't know, man. <laughs> I just, I just, I just, I just it's, it's just weird though. I feel like the last couple of games of as of late. Like on like on 09 was one of them. Like the writing was like really bad. Life is strange, a game that is filled with dialogue, and it's mainly on dialogue because it's with choices and everything. It's all it's all bad. It's it's all bad. And that and sadly with that game, it feels it feels like like your choices really don't matter in that game as well. So I don't Damn. know. So just uh just wait. Hey, if you if you want to know the sports of that one, I'll gladly tell you that one because you'll be that one. Your reaction for that one's gonna be really, really something. When I tell you that the what they're planning on doing with Life is Strange, it you'd be like, no way. I'm like, yep. Yeah, that's Damn, what now I gotta doing. play. I love Life is Strange, but now I now I'm I'm Straight very up. eager to yeah. You are always talking about Life is Strange, Steve. That is true. You are you're a huge uh Max Max Big Max, Life, Life is Strange guy over there. Big big, big Life is Strange. That Life was like huge, my stream game. And now I'm like oh, yeah. I don't know if I want to play it because I'm like my expectations again would just be really it. high. Sammy, it's, pr- it's great content. Just do it, man. But for me, I was like, "What is this shit? <laughs> what, is, <laughs> what is what is happening? This is not this is not my max. What's happening here? This is not uh, my life is strange. This is not my life. Is this strange? My this life, life is not this strange. This life is odd. What the hell? Like, what's happening here? You know? So. <laughs> it's so crazy. Uh, guess what? Alice said no, no Nintendo Switch announcements till 2025. Um, Camille wins. Still... <sighs> She's not here. She's, She's not here. Know. She doesn't need to yeah. know. Yeah. 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 All right, all right. Yeah. She, has, she has other battles to win against. We her. had hoped. We had <laughs> hoped, though, didn't we? We, we have hoped for a repeat of an October reveal. <sighs> Disappointing. You know, system is, is uh, not to launch as well during the fiscal calendar year, so earliest april 2025 any thoughts on this uh i think it makes sense i think that we were kind of waiting for a direct in september october that never came we had a partner showcase in september but we were waiting for like the big direct which they often do in september to really kind of fill out the first quarter and lead into the next direct that they often have in february that didn't happen, uh, which to me would indicate they obviously have larger plans, but they also uh, had to reduce their switch sales goals as part of their investor briefing. Uh, so if you announce a new console right now, you're certainly not going to hit your new target, which makes it pretty pretty much imperative that they do it next year. Yeah, that makes But sense. we got some reveals on social media in lieu of a Nintendo Direct in the form of Xenoblade Chronicles X getting a remaster. Uh, yeah. Nintendo Music being part of NSO. Um, we got some N64 games that dropped, including Banjo Tooie, which is awesome. So that seems to be. And then uh, MEO, which was the Famicom Detective Club uh, third installment. So all of those were announced on social media after their last core direct. So it seems like that's probably going to be the play if they have anything else leading into holiday. And then I would expect something pretty pretty substantial in the new year from them that emil announcement was it was so cool it was like this mystery game and then you're just like oh it's a famicom game all right um, the de- yeah the detective yeah. Famicom. <laughs> they're great games they're great well, games they are great games but it's just so like that the the way how they hyped it up i'm like damn what is it something else yeah. everyone was talking about it you know it you was- know what like it seems to be working for them like uh that xenoblade chronicles x reveal trailer has over a million views on youtube already but like that is like a like everyone's waiting for that one. That was the one everyone's like, "Why?" It's one of the few, one? right, from Wii U that people were hoping. That for. one, everyone was like, "Please, please bring that one back." When they were like remastering everything else, yeah. and like they did two like what remasters of the first one, but they did it on the 3DS. They they sent yeah they like remade, uh, they remade the, 3DS the first version. one yeah yeah, which was good. I mean, like I don't know if you saw comparisons of the character models in Xenoblade Chronicles X, but it's like a yeah. substantial improvement. It kind of makes it all fall in line, which is good. Yeah, this um, game you needed but, to download um, like a texture patch from like the Wii U shop. Yes, yeah, like, I like, that, you, yeah. Like you needed that it. was funny. Yeah, I, t- I totally remember that. I, don't know, I I think the strategy is working for them, to be honest. Just drop it on uh, X or Twitter or whatever, and upload it to YouTube, and let the community yeah, yeah. spread it for you. It seems like easy, an easy win for these. Well, because everyone's people. waiting for the this Nintendo Switch announcement. 
So like everything else yes. is just like, well, they like, are. Yeah. Everyone has that their notification true. turned on, you know. So. Is that, uh, is that it? Everyone, everyone's got it like, on. Where's the everyone's hit that bell. Nintendo, they're waiting for it. Yeah. Nintendo's yeah. like, uh, nope. Here's Nintendo music. Have fun. You know. So, like, all right, thanks. You know. It's pretty cool. The Nintendo Music app. I don't I know like if you guys around with it. it's. They just added Donkey Kong Country two to it last night. Oh, okay. Like they're gonna that. scale it pretty meaningfully, which is cool. That, that's an incredible soundtrack, by the way. But there's no like notifications. Be like, hey, this song's now available on me too. Something. Actually, yeah. And the only yeah. reason I they it's not like they posted about it on social. Like people just started saying, oh, hey, look, like there's an update. And uh, part of that was like icons you can get as well. Mm -hmm. You can trade in coins for that from Donkey Kong Country two. So. Seems like they're going for like an element of cross integration with these sorts of releases as well, which is cool. So what's next? They have Alarmo music. Alarmo. <laughs> Mario and Luigi <laughs> Brothership doesn't that come out in like a couple days? Yeah, like I, Friday. I mean, coming yeah. out. It's at 80, eighty on Metacritic, which is not bad. Not bad. Not bad. Take I know it. Everyone, everyone, like was it. A, everyone was on that person. Did you read I, that review though, or did I didn't it? read it. No, I, I just saw the I saw the reaction to it. It's not a bad review. Like the person just said, the game was very stuttering and um, it was wasn't running it, the best it could have. It wasn't or? the best, yeah. And like, like but like, which is kind of weird because like it's a first party game and it, it wasn't like it's like a remake or like a game that was ported over. Like, oh, hopefully it works on the Switch. It was, mm -hmm. it was a game made for the Switch. That's a little weird that Nintendo like didn't optimize this game very well. Um, they gave and it a five out of ten, though. Damn. Five out of ten, yeah. And and like this person also has played the previous like ones and huge track record. I think they gave Jamboree like a nine or think or yeah, I think it says it there. Mario Party, uh, yeah, yeah, Mario Party. Like they they you know they know the Nintendo stuff. It's not giving it's just some random Joe Schmo trying out first day of of IGN and be like, oh, let me just review this. Oh, this game's a five. I don't like Nintendo. I'm a Sony guy type of thing. Yeah, you know, <laughs> you know, but like. Uh, they, he they found the game though too hand holding as well. I'm like, it's a Nintendo game. Like these games are always like, <laughs> yeah, you, yeah. It's not, you're not looking like what are you looking for? Uncharted? Like what? Like I don't understand <laughs> it. <laughs> Unfortunately, we are no longer the demographic. These are not made for us, but we still enjoy them. So we still enjoy them. That. Just for nostalgic. Yeah. You yeah. know what? We got Paper Mario, like, Thousand Year Door, Super Mario RPG. So yeah, many this year. Yeah, but that game doesn't hold my hands. So that's a three out of ten game. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I uh I mean I love that they brought back Super Mario RPG. What a win. That and Paper Mario Thousand Year Door so good. Well, I don't know. We're doing fine. We're doing all right. So okay. they have like a bit of a softer point of entry for this. That's okay. Yeah, I guess we'll just uh of course. I mean, I still have the I still have Zelda to put finish up anyway, so and then whenever Xenoblade comes out, I would like, I would like I, that's probably one of my favorite games. And like one of the best battle theme songs, like I mentioned, it sounds like Linkin Park. Yes, but like before. So, <laughs> you know. <laughs> uh, up topic number two, where did I put it? There we go. Star Wars Outlaws has a new uh, creative uh, direction here. Hold on, let me just pull this up. I actually closed it. Star Wars Outlaws has a new creative uh, director, promises more work on the three keys areas, combat, stealth, and controls. Now, I'm kind of surprised they they add on a new creative director onto this game. Like a couple months in, yeah. The game's already yeah. done. It's out. <laughs> like, how much more is coming on? How much more? Like, I'm assuming the content's well in development. Game. Yeah, how, how yeah. creative can we get with it? Are they just remaking the game? Like, oh, this game never <laughs> happened. there to direct? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, what is there to direct? Uh, okay, yeah. Uh, that's interesting. Uh, I don't know. What that means, like, they, they, I think this game also has to like work for, for Ubisoft as well. I know they only sell like a million sales, and uh, the, and I, sorry, it's not doing what it needs million. to do. No. Yeah, yeah. And uh, I don't know. But at it at this point, too. can someone like really take it to the next level, or is it already kind of too late for that? I think it's too but, late. Is it not? Yeah. It's way too late. Like, yeah, the game, I think that's the a game is still coming out for uh for Steam on the 21st of this month. Right. That's coming out with the DLC, which is just like this is just like more more Sabak. Yeah. So like if he didn't affect so what the DLC, yeah. Oh well. It's it's interesting choice, but I mean, I guess that's just to go to show how much work still needs to be done on this game. 
in terms yeah. of optimizing it and make sure it's, its systems are running correctly because I think that's the biggest issue with the game was that it's just not great to play. Even the stealth sections, I mean, yeah, maybe someone can come in and retool it, but I don't know how much you want yeah. to invest in that. Alternatively, uh, maybe Ubisoft is just kind of getting someone in line so that they can kickstart a sequel and having have that same creative director kind of like transition in and then take it over for a second. I don't know. I don't know how this stuff works. Maybe they'll fix Tatooine. Maybe it'll look good. <laughs> oh. <laughs> You're not wrong. <laughs> I'm just trying to find this guy's first name. Reckner? Like, who's the guy? The, the new guy or the old guy? Oh, Drew Reckner. Drew Reckner is the new, yeah. The new so, guy, yeah. The, the, new, the new guy. Uh, they did, they did, uh, they worked on Division 2, Warlords of New York, and Sammy's favorite game, Avatar. Why are yeah. my favorite game? You Sammy really is you. always That's gushing fine. about Avatar. That's <laughs> mm. Just like I like <laughs> Life is Strange, Sammy's always talking about Avatar. That's 100%. True. 100%. Yeah. That's so true. Um, I don't know. I, I like Ubisoft is just known for stealth. How do they mess with this game? I don't understand. Like well, they have massive is so not. many. That's the <laughs> issue. That's but like you ha- you're under the Ubisoft umbrella. Like you, have- you could have been like, hey, this is not how. That's not there, how we do it. There's <laughs> a lot of there's a lot of stuff going on there right now that to me reads as like, well, okay, this didn't work. What are we doing? And a lot of shuffling. And it happened yeah. with Prince Persia team. And it happened with it's happening now with the Star Wars team. I would imagine that's something that will continue. And then I don't know. Hopefully, hopefully oh, wait, we get Rayman game. In out. what way though? Like with the remake or, or the yeah, game? like the well, no, like the new one got like that. They broke up that team and kind of scattered oh, yeah. them into several other teams. One of them is yeah. working on a Rayman game, I guess, which yeah, is not confirmed. So yeah. these those things are like happening where they're like trying different things to make it work, and I. Well, I guess we'll see what sticks, but and oh, and there and Michael Ansel is like advising on it. I guess he's confirmed because he created Rayman. Yeah, so lots of stuff going on over there. They're trying a lot, a lot of, different of things. I also I think, think it's just very evident that Ubisoft Massive has just been working in the silo this entire time. That they've been, you know, pushing the division, working on the division with very little uh, interconnectivity between all the other studios, which. Is Ubisoft's bread and butter ideally? Uh, that's why a lot of those games kind of feel fluid, like a Satin Screed or Far Cry. But that's never been the case for Massive up until probably Avatar. Avatar is the one that kind of does feel more like a traditional Ubisoft game. But yeah. I guess when it comes to Star Wars, that doesn't mean that, yeah, all their systems, all their knowledge, and everything from other studios kind of transition and comes over. And Avatar looked beautiful as well. Like, we're, I'm not not to say that Star Wars looked horrific or anything, but like, if you compare the two, you're like, oh, well, Avatar is obviously the, like, give the award to Avatar <laughs> in, in a way. Two different engines, on, uh, unless I'm is mistaken. It, I thought it was both Snowdrop. Snowdrop. Let's find out. Yeah. The, the tick, tick, tick of all of us searching it on I our know. keyboards. Right right now. <laughs> I thought it was Snowdrop for uh, Star Wars. Star Wars. I don't know my voice cracked there. Star Wars. Star Wars. Does this mean we're just uh, gonna get... drop? Okay, I'm wrong. Does this mean we're just gonna get space Far Cry instead of blue Far Cry? Rather that. I'd rather none of it. I would rather have Division Three. That's that's fair. It's been a long time. For we haven't had anything like from the Division team. But that's well, the, the same thing goes for its Splinter Cell. You know, so yeah. mm. well they did cancel that's... Heartlands, and um, yes. that hurt. Yeah, just come up with a tweet. Be like, show some goggles, and be like, coming soon. You know, just, they they need a win. They, they I don't even think that would do it though. They need a trailer, really? is what they need. But I feel like and at this go- point you're like slowly coming. That's it. Oh. That's your trailer. That's I would take seconds. that. I would take that, that second oh. trailer. <laughs> just four seconds. That's yeah. cinema. That's cinema right there. <laughs> What's the report like? Twenty twenty six for Splinter Cell. I don't believe anything anymore. You... They just, they're just like, oh, you know what? Let's just work on Prince of Persia because that makes sense. Let's say, I forgot about. It. No one even wants Sam Fisher around anymore. Yeah, it's the thirty fifth anniversary. They had, they had. They gotta do something. Plans, they gotta do something. But they're gonna. I be feel late. like they gotta reveal it. Do you think they'll do? I could see that being like a game awards thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Are you gonna throw it in and the commercial section like they did for the Persia? No oh skill and bones. 
They put Skull and Bones release date during the, the ad section. They're like, Skull and Bones, come out February. Here you go. Like, Knowing so Ubisoft, fun. I wouldn't be surprised. Maybe they don't not. want to spend that marketing money. Come on. I, yeah, I, I see two scenarios for it. I see maybe maybe the Game Awards. If not, I feel like it shows up at the Xbox showcase. Because it's such an Xbox game. Yeah. 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 You see that? Uh, speaking about Xbox, Halo 2 Legendary E3 demo is finally playable after 20 years. Is is this something people have been waiting for? I didn't even know it was a thing. Uh, I don't know if people have been waiting for it, but it's definitely been something. They were like, aware a of thing. it. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Everyone was lining up for this for all these years, apparently. I don't know. So, like, my question is, is it, like, 20-year-old ago graphics, or is it, like, updated Oh, no, it's graphics? 20 year Oh, it's, oh. It, it's rough. It's oh, real rough. Boy. Yeah. You thought they were going to do it? You thought they were going to work on that, Sammy? Mm. Come on. <laughs> what was the point of sitting on that for, like, 20 years then, just because they could? I think they were just, like, I think someone just remembered they had it. They're like, here, here we need like, time. Oh, yeah. We need we need time to work on the next Halos. Let's throw this out. Let them quiet. No. Oh, know. the article saying it's because it's the twentieth anniversary, so they're just kind of like, oh, here's a little a little tidbit. And they had nothing planned. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. What else we got from the bottom of the pot? Oh, this this demo from E3. Here you go. I mean, they still have an anniversary edition that is still one of the best looking games ever. Yeah. So it's really hard for Microsoft to be like, well, how can we do even more for Halo 2? What do we the, even want from that franchise going forward? Uh, Riley, like, I don't you, even... you, have, you don't even have enough time for, for me to <laughs> do this. Like, there is not an episode out there that, that would engage an audience long enough for me to go through literally everything that I want from Halo. I feel like, we want, I feel like they, they need to go back to that Battle Royale. I was just going to say, we had that whole episode <laughs> yeah, talking about the Battle Royale. That's, so that's, the, that's the tip of the iceberg, though. It Truly. <sighs> Truly. Just bring back uh, the show. <laughs> yeah, bring, bring the back show. the show. They are looking for a, a for a provider or someone to publish it. I guess. So, would a battle right. royale really save Halo though? Yes. I, yes. I feel really? like it has I the potential like, I feel like, too. I think like it, it might be too late for a battle royale. I don't, I don't know. disagree, but I I will say, and I I mean, we I, I think I've said it on the show before. The further out we get, I won't be upset. It's okay. No, you and I both no, have no, no, We're on the I, same team. <laughs> but I do agree, but I do agree. I agree with the caveat that as as each day goes by, we get further and further from this thing, you know, potentially yeah. coming out, the less relevant it will be by the time it does come out. I just don't the, want another uh, battle royale in particular of Halo, yeah. yeah that thing's want, yeah. like dead, right? I just yes. don't want a concord. Well, I'm talking moment. theoretical, Halo. like oh, if they yeah, were to revisit it, get another studio on it, or even like you know, get certain affinity to to start kickstart a new version of it. The further out yeah. we get, the more mind share is given to Fortnite, to Call of Duty, Apex, Overwatch, and stuff like that. That ideally you would have wanted to release that alongside Halo Infinite and just have it out there uh to work on, but mm. no. <laughs> I think it's got to, whatever they do next has to be multi-platform. Like that, it that could be really? like a Call of Duty level title if they really embraced yeah. it on all of the platforms. Like it's that big. So I don't know. I, I hope that they figure it out because I think it could really be the shot in the arm that that IP needs. I feel like if they do a battle royale, put it and, and put it everywhere. If they were to do like, well, here's our campaign. I feel like people would be like, well, I'm just having fun with the battle. Why am I going to play the campaign? It's the yeah, it's not. It's not like Call I, of Duty. I, feel like, I feel like they're like shooting themselves in the foot in a way. I, I feel like you can do yeah. both things theoretically, especially with this now, you know, shift over to Unreal Engine 5. They're working on what five different projects and stuff like that. I think Halo can really become both things where it can be like this marquee game for Xbox to sit on the Xbox platform, drive people to come to the Xbox ecosystem. But then you have a multiplayer suite that just exists everywhere and that is just kind of a playground for for competitive play or you have a battle royale or x y and z like i i think you can have your cake and eat it too and then i also think that xbox or yeah microsoft and um halo studios what, what are they called now halo halo team halo studios, halo halo studios, studios yeah I, I think they also just need to diversify the entire portfolio of halo and just go back to halo wars get like a halo tactics halo game. Wars needs to come back yeah 
Do you like uh, a survival horror game, which was long uh, rumored for a, long, uh, a while ago, like a, like a, you're fighting the flood as a, as a UNSC soldier? I think that shit would be wicked. I just think that Halo right now just can't, sit on the shoulders of master chief as long as it has because it kind of gets i love master chief but that universe is so much more interesting if you could just mm -hmm. go far in the far reaches i mean reach was great odst was, was great yeah. um yeah i mean bring back lock too i mean if you're gonna bring use these characters arbiter use these characters i, I feel like there's so many opportunities there it seems it seems like they're going for a soft reboot yeah yeah, which is kind of like I feel like good, but because like based on the Unreal stuff, they confirm multiple projects are in the works with Halo. I'd imagine that would span genres, um, but I, they also showed off Master Chief in particular, who is always probably going to be like the center of that universe and story. Right. So I think like if you bring him back, I don't know. Like my only question there is like if you go retell the first Halo or something like that then you can bring that everywhere i don't think that's that really jeopardizes what you're building but my my question there is like how new do you go like do you recast master chief if it's oh, if it's a younger oh, version wow. do you yeah like i don't i don't know where you where you draw the line because like that would be tough but like maybe that's what the series needs i don't know I don't know because I don't think Master Chief is the issue. I don't think that his voice acting, his persona, his relationship with Cortana, none of that is the issue. I mean, I, I think that Master Chief in Halo Infinite is still the a really great version of Master Chief where you, you see a side of him that you've never seen before. I think it's just kind of everything else that's surrounding him and a, a story that led ne nowhere. Has there ever been like a story like how they're doing with uh, Gears, like the whole E-Day with, with Halo? I mean, Reach. Reach was kind of E Day, in a way. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I don't know. I, I just want like Carmine in E Day. That's all I want. I kind of like the idea that Steve had, like, have a multiplayer, work on the other stuff in the background, and the multiplayer can be multi-platform. Get like the get new people in, get old people in. And then suck them into Xbox. Like, oh, you want to play all these other games? You want to learn the lore and the story, yeah. et cetera? Get an Xbox. So that maybe something like that could work. I, I think the other thing that Xbox has against it right now is that the gameplay of Halo is so super specific yeah. that it, because yeah. it, it hinders on like, uh, between uh, an arena-based shooter and not not something super competitive or twitchy as, say, a Call of Duty or even an Overwatch. That I don't think that it's a super popular way of playing a competitive first-person shooter. So, Sammy, to your credit, I think getting it out there and kind of inviting a way uh, like so many more people into the fold would incentivize players to actually get in there and maybe adopt it. Um, because right now, I just don't see it being uh, a fifteen or twelve-year-old's game like it was for me growing up. I don't think that like a 12 year old is getting their first, you know, PC or their PlayStation five or a a Xbox. I mean, uh, and be like, Halo is going to be my game. That's the one for me. No, it's call of duty. It's Fortnite. It's stuff like that. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, uh, yeah, I think it's that IP just needs to be more accessible. I mean, like we're all of the IPs candidly need to be more accessible because like the way that we're consuming media is changing very quickly. I mean, look at us. We opened the show talking about the Pokemon TCG game on phone. Like it like the, the way you consume content, and the way that new like children are consuming content is just so different now. Mm -hmm. I mean, look at the success of the Mario movie. You know, it generates a billion dollars. Uh, and that's all I kids seeing that and being exposed to the IP for the first time. Or maybe they heard of it and they're, you know, oh, this seems cool. Like, I want to play a Mario game. It's like the barrier to entry to that is probably going to be about five hundred dollars. Really? So it's like, well, what gets us there sooner? It's like, well, it needs to be accessible on iPad. Okay, well, there's Mario Run or something like that, which is a little bit Mario bad. Kart like, game. Yeah, something. but you need in a Mario Kart game and stuff like that. They're they're dropping in an Animal Crossing like revision for the mobile app coming up. Like this sort of stuff is like in it's gonna become more common. And even then we see Nintendo subscription jumping over to mobile as well with the music library. So things like this are gonna become progressively more common, especially now that emulators are allowed on these these devices. It's just free money. It's just like total free money, like subscription revenue for Nintendo to take advantage of. You link that back to the hardware, all that stuff. Like it's just, it, it's gonna, it, it, it just kind of makes it, it makes no sense to not pursue that.
Yeah. I'm surprised it hasn't even been like a, a Halo Wars like on a phone or something like that. Just like battle off something, or something. right? Yeah, yeah, and I get I get that it's different, right? But then you have like yeah. Warzone Mobile and stuff like that. Like, yeah, no, absolutely. like there, there's room for all these things, but it's the way that you you introduce players to it and get them into the ecosystem because there is cross compatibility with the mobile Warzone and the current one and stuff like that. So these things are like it's going to become more and more common, especially now that Xbox is like bringing their store mobile, which I yeah. think is part of the some of the changes on Android. So that's something they're going to be able to do as well. And I'm, I would imagine Apple's not that far behind. Well, I mean, that's all, that's all because of, you know, uh, the EU uh, ruling EU. Right? Yeah. yeah. I mean, that's not going to be a global thing and accessible thing, unfortunately, at least for the next foreseeable future, but we'll yeah, see. you need the FTC to get involved, which they seem yeah. keen to do candidly. Like, I, I feel like, I feel like probably this stuff will become more and more common and Xbox is gambling big on it because they've announced that they're trying to build like a mobile store. Yeah. So it's like like they're they're full on planning this to be the norm at some point. Yep. Yep. I can't wait to see. Uh, I was I wait and see what's what's going to go, what's going to happen next. I guess it's exciting. It's going to be an exciting time in gaming. Like everything's changing so fast, which is exciting but a little scary. Fast. But... Slow down a little bit. Yeah, well, I feel so, like, uh, par particularly with Xbox, I feel like a year ago, we we're like, what the fuck are they doing? And now we're like, oh, shit, what are they doing? Like, this is really yeah, exciting. Yeah, so yeah, I no, think, no. yeah it, they've definitely taken a turn for the better, and I'm excited to see the future. I mean, yeah. the, the funniest part is that, yeah, probably, what, January, February, we were all sitting here thinking, like, oh, it's doom and gloom for Xbox. Yeah. And <laughs> nothing's changed. Not, not a <laughs> damn thing. But I, but I mean that... In, the in hope's the best there. Way possible. Like yeah. I, know, I, I feel like there's certainly an uptick in terms of game yeah. quality and stuff like that. But I remember January when they're like, "Oh, they're going third party." It's the end of Xbox, and people were burning their accounts and burning their Xbox. It's like, no, it's just business as usual, guys. Like, yeah. let's, <laughs> let's tone it down, all right? This Microsoft Flight Simulator is coming out next week or whatever. It's like, okay, yeah. I'm super excited for that game. You have no idea. Love, love, I can't love, wait to, to tour around to Toronto. That's taking me a little flight, you know? Like, Who oh, are you flying to? You know, Who? I might go to Japan. I don't know. Oh. Why not? Uh, I like to, time? Yeah, I like I like to see like I like to see how like weather looks sometimes. I'm just like, oh, it's a hurricane. Let me just fly over there. See what see what's up. You know? I, I like to see how weather looks. I like how the weather looks. Without being in it, I want to just like fly there. Marcel's just like sitting, sitting by the window, looking yeah, out, yeah. like drawing something with a crayon. He's like, this I just like nice. the way the weather looks. Yeah. This is nice. This is nice, you know? I just really like the way weather. That's looks. our first I, piece of merch. Yeah, I, I, I just like the way weather, the weather looks. <laughs> looks like it. looks like rain today. Yeah. <laughs> is, it rain, is it rain over there? Let me uh, let me let me jump in my plane for a second. You know. Yeah. Oh man. Hey, when Japan had that hurricane, I was there. Fine. You were in Japan. <laughs> I was in Japan. That's right. Whoa. I don't know <laughs> how I feel about that. <laughs> what do you mean? You know how to I feel was there. They I had there. a hurricane. I was there flying. What, what's wrong with that? <laughs> I, I know how they felt. Right I was it? there. They were fine. I didn't say I didn't know how they felt. I was just there. <laughs> <laughs> they lost power. They lost I family lost members. And and I'm everything. just there. <laughs> yeah, that's that's really cool. Hey, other people were there. It was Marcel is always it was watching. Flutter yeah. airplanes. I wasn't the only one. It was flutter airplanes. I wasn't the only one. That's fine. You were okay. There, there was a whole like galley of people watching. Mm -hmm. that that's <laughs> kind of sadistic. Like, a, there's like a little bit of a. <laughs> how's that sadistic? Okay. I don't understand. This guy, how, I don't know, how's, it, wait, there's other people there too. They it's not okay just one. because there's more people there. Marcel. <laughs> I don't know, how was that a bad well, I was the only one. He, he was those, there. She was, was there. Facing in real life. You think I'm gonna be guys, I was sitting life? there in my Halo Pelican watching <laughs> as a hurricane decimated. Uh, well, there was my no dragonfly plane from it. Dune. I was hovering <laughs> over no. Actually, it was my Tom Cruise airplane. Thank you very much. Oh, that's I mean they're I mean they're I mean they're faster. <laughs> Do you have do you play a highway to the danger zone while you're going to <laughs> <laughs> with your orange sunglasses on? Yeah. Uh, you're, yeah, yeah, actually, yeah. you're actually green. Thank you very much. Oh, okay. okay. I've got the need. The <laughs> need for speed. <laughs>
Well, you know what? Screw you guys. I have I have a pact open up. All right. So that's what you're doing right now. Let's do it right now. I'm I'm battling right now. I'm stuck in battle. And and I'm losing. Can't believe you guys. I don't think I think maybe once I've used autoplay one. Oh, never mind. I just won. I just yelled at him. Yo, way to go. Let's go. Way to go, Auto Battle. It took you all show to Who are we going with? Are we going Pika? Are we going Mewtwo? I need some I need some Pikachu. So I might go for Pika for me. I have know? three I Pika hits that just won't. I've opened like 50 million. All right. Oh, all God. Right. This Mewtwo. Is... Mewtwo? I'm, right, going I'm going Charizard. All right. I'm going, I'm going Pikachu. Ripping this one open. Boom. Let's see here. In there. Mm. I always spin right. it, even though Riley said it doesn't matter. But it, it doesn't matter. As soon as, as, soon as, as soon as you see, like, it, oh, you have a pack open. It's already been pre determined. Shelter. Ooh. Chiglet Yo, dog. Haunter, huge. Yo, you got a Haunter? I got a Haunter. I got yeah. nothing. We got Rapid Us. Slow bro. I'm going to try to do this without looking at the screen. This is going to be All tough. right. <laughs> Yo, you killed it. That was such a clean. Wow. Tear. I, got a, I got a Melt Meltan. Yep. Okay. Okay. All right. Move back. Mm-hmm. Okay. All it's right. a new card. Oh, oh, double. oh, oh okay. Double. Yeah, you got. Log in here. You got mediocre. It's about time. I'm not going to lie. I hovered over the leave button so quickly just in case he pulled something good. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, not again. No, I'm, not, <laughs> I'm not sitting around for that. I just no. got my eighth god card. Whoops. Yeah. I want a I'm god not... like Charizard or Mewtwo so bad. That'd be sweet. I... I'm excited to see who gets it first because we all know we're gonna just yell in our group chat. I'm so excited for whoever gets uh like a, like a god pack because we get the wonder picks. Yeah, oh yeah, you gotta tell us right away. Oh shoot, oh, oh we got it's we're getting we're getting we're getting Blurry, uh... pull it up. What'd you get? <laughs> now we'll never know. Yeah, you know, you know it was Mankey. It was Mankey. Mm. That's why I blurted it out. It's That's like yeah, we're not playing this. Blurred out. Yeah, Riley, what's going on for you for the rest of the week? <laughs> It's well, like um, not Pulling much, man. Just kind of socials in a weird spot right now while we wait for the American election to wrap up one, yeah. one way or the other. It's, so, uh, hoping... when this comes out, we will know the result of the. Well, I mean, probably not. Yeah, it's no, just kind of crazy. Yeah. Um, <laughs> we won't. Well, we'll have, have, a good have a good we idea. We might. Yeah. Yeah, I guess we'll see. Um, and congratulations, I mean, call it, or I'm sorry. Yeah. You can use that as a Maybe clip. Both. Yeah. <laughs> All I'm gonna say is good luck, America. That's what I'm gonna say. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Good luck. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so just uh, gearing up for some other stuff. You know, Mario and Luigi comes out this week, which I'm we're really excited to um, launch. And then there's a bunch of other stuff coming out too, which is exciting. So, you guys have any goodies, for Mario? Are you giving away a, a ship, a boat? Nothing. No. Brother, Nothing like brother ship. Well, that's it's t- it's tough. Like the um, EU got like a steel book with it, which is like, oh man, that's so cool. Like, but these 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 items are scarce and and they don't. I guess for whatever reason, it's harder to get them over here sometimes. So we'll see. We're always trying to get stuff like that. I'm kind of curious. You, you might not know the answer to this. How come with the Marvel's Capcom collections, the EU didn't get the physical card, but we are getting it. Oh, like on the on the little or, cartridge? Yeah, they're not even getting a card; they're getting a code. Um, what would be the purpose of that? Like, would it just be like they're like, ah, oh, we're not printing? I would, I would think only, only that it would depend on it. timing of the shipments and stuff like that too. Probably yeah, there's there's a lot where it's up. manufactured. Yeah, yeah. Oh. probably. That's interesting. I don't know, it was just weird to me. I'm like, why would you not? This game, everyone's been waiting for for years, and the, the Nintendo's the only one. The EU, they're not getting a like nothing uh, just like just a download basically, basically is the, what they're getting so oh well sammy what's up uh what is up i'm about 30 <laughs> points away from level 16 on that app um i have arcane this weekend i'm gonna disappear and watch season two of arcane probably the second it launches on midnight and i also nice. spent a lot of money on that fenty beauty x arcane collab so oh i also started playing alan wake yes oh, I did. Let's go. i'm only i'm only like two hours in i will say like the graphics are rough but i'm just like i still gotta do wait, it what? okay what what oh wait sorry alan wake one 
not two. Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, like I'll make two. Yeah. I was there amazing. Remaster no, 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 no. or original? I think original. So I'm like yeah, going that one's like full first yeah. experience. Yeah. 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 That's but like, I'm excited like, to get through that, and then I, I'll definitely. I played the original it. as well, and I, that was kind of a rough experience for me. As well, like they'll be talking, and like the words don't match up with their mouth, and I'm like, yeah. I can't. Bitch. I can't wait to hear what you think of Barry. Oh God. Okay. Yeah. No idea who that is. So cool. We'll see. Yeah. <laughs> Marcel knows. He's, yeah, he's pretty. Yeah, he's very something. Um, Steve, how about yourself? I'm just going to be continuing to hate my life playing this goddamn <laughs> Pokemon game. Uh, just just relishing in the fact that you're, Riley you're, is, due. I, you're going to get the God pack first. I I, you're first. You're for it. It. Uh, well, thank you, you for your optimism. I, I don't believe in myself, but hey, stranger things have happened. But uh, I'm going to keep playing that. I'm going to be. Uh, you got to believe in the heart of the cards. <laughs> yeah, totally. <laughs> yeah yeah you just have uh, to believe steve i'm doing believe. my best i'm doing my best here but no other than that playing more call of duty getting ready for oh, yeah. uh, season one i'm uh, gonna uh, gonna try and prestige this week and then dragon age as well oh you got another one oh! there you go bud. What is it? The huge. Free oh, huge. Huge. that means i'm due game. for one next now you're due you see you said said some luck gotta believe that's it Done. Just get those challenges done, Steve, and you'll have a Lapras EX in no time. Mm -hmm. Get it. Good done. thing is, if you do lose yeah. your battle, it doesn't it doesn't cost you anything. No, but now I'm all out of the uh, the resources. You, you already used up the fifteen they gave you. Or? Oh yeah. Uh oh, oh, buddy! Like, it and you didn't pull one? No. Oh, right. <laughs> what? Right. Right. what? I'm telling what? you, I'm not exaggerating. Oh, I have I, the worst <laughs> lot. Really bad. Right. Riley, that's uh, the worst thing you can say. That might have been worse than the, the thing you said last weekend. Well, that's kind of obscene at this point, to be honest with you. Like, that's Riley, crazy. Stop. And send a letter. I, all I have left to do is what just is to that? do the expert battle, which I can't because they're like, oh, your your decks are dog shit. You can't you can't even win this one. Like, <laughs> like the game the game Wait, is does it so tell you? No, well, it's just like, oh, you want to use electric? Your I'm like, what do you think I've been doing? That's <laughs> dog shit. You got to use uh, Pikachu EX or the uh, Lieutenant Surge. Have yeah, no, but have it. you refreshed the your electric deck as well? I think I did. Oh, you know what? I think I did yesterday. Maybe I gotta give it another. Have you got like new cards before? Like, I you have a up. rental deck? Do you have any rental decks? Not electric, no. Oh, I could send you the one. I I think I. I got really yeah, lucky my, my on the start, and I Two think I'd be the expert on like my second try. <laughs> but like, get get the Pikachu EX, get Electric, tank one hit if you can on like the yeah. starter, and then just like that would require him to get a Pikachu EX card. Yeah, um, like where you know, <laughs> we guys talk. <laughs> They don't just give me that. <laughs> I, I'm sorry. I assume this is, this is my Pikachu. That's, that's yeah, all I got. That's the one you got. That's I got. So, I got yeah. double Zapdos though. I mean, but that's oh, and he costs well, too much. Yeah, no, no. I mean, sorry, sorry, Steve. Not Zapdos. Uh, Pikachu EX. Should I? I just <laughs> should just I have Pikachu knife. EX? Just turning that knife. You should on, just get a dude. Simple. Just get, get a, a Pikachu, Pikachu EX. EX. The way you do. Well, I mean, the way that Sammy said, just do that. I feel like it should be like <laughs> I'm super, <sorry>. super easy. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Right, like, like I'm going through. I'm, I'm yeah. two of you just like easily like, get it. it. Like, <laughs> let me just see in here amongst the sea of just absolute the worst pulls. Maybe you could exchange. You don't. You don't even have that one. Oh my god. Uh, let me double check. Uh, is it this one? I don't no? think so. No, no, no that's not the, that one. It's no. a Pikachu oh, EX funny because you have the fat one. Pikachu it's EX. Like, Hey guys, <laughs> that, I'm here wait, to try. How, how'd you do that? How do you make so, it do uh, that? So all you have to do is pull a Pikachu EX. Okay. Oh, okay. So with the alt art. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Wait, wait, wait. Technically, maybe you, you could buy the card. So have your electric deck, but then put this boy in. What is it? Chinchino? How do you say that Pokemon's name? Chinchino. Yeah. yeah. What about this yeah. one? Is that the X? Make a chinchilla, right? Mm. That's, no, this is no. EX, that's right? not it. No, it's You're not. Sorry, there. Oh, because I got it's five of these. It's yeah. like this one that I have. Uh, maybe you can maybe even get the one that's less rare than this one. Maybe you can exchange for an EX card. Oh. Maybe exchange points. Oh yeah. Wait. <laughs> 
Cool. I, I I should just uninstall this game. Yeah, no, no, don't give up. Don't no, give up. No, Steve, no, Steve, no, don't go. Steve, stop. No, don't do it, Steve. No, don't do it, no. <laughs> okay. Marcel, what are you up to? Don't worry uh, about me anymore. <laughs> I mean, I am playing more of this game as well, but I'm actually checking out uh, Horizon, the remaster as well. Looks really, really good. Very it's, cool. Uh, a very, a, a, it, you know, it didn't need the remaster, but now that it's here, I'm like, Damn, this game is pretty. Like it's, it's like it's really, really like it's out. Like even like the like the leaves have like be- like water beads on them. Like there's so much def- like information on this game is crazy. So uh, they did a really good job with it. There are some minor flickering with like some characters here and like fabric and everything, which can easily be be uh, patched out. They did um, actually do ten hours of new dialogue and mocap as well for this Ooh. game. So there's actually. A brand new intro, which which kind of leads into like the title of the game. So, mm. no, they did a they did a really good job in this game. So I'm really impressed with it. So now, yeah, I with that it. with that flickering thing, Marcel, what you could do is just play it on PS5. Nah, I'm not doing that. Oh, uh, that required me to spend seven hundred fifty dollars <laughs> for a non flickering oh. mode. That's okay. Hmm. Okay. All right. Yeah. Just a suggestion. I don't know. Just suggestion? Yeah. yeah it's just a suggestion. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, hey, you know what? I'll pick that up when you just get a Pikachu X. Perfect. Yeah, I'll just buy that <laughs> right now. <laughs> right now. Buy, let me, let me right go now. on, on uh, BestBuy.com or Walmart.com. Walmart. Buy, can you buy an EX card on Walmart? I think I could I could score one. Um, I don't know if Steve's allowed, to be honest. <laughs> what? Listen, when we exchange, I'll, I'll give you one. When is that feature coming? Does anyone know? No one knows. No, no one Steve knows. Is, Steve, is, Steve is shaking pissed right now. He is so <laughs> mad. He's <laughs> like Arthur. The yeah. fist? Yeah. <laughs> uh, 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 I think that was just the, like, you can tell Sammy didn't even mean it. And you're just like, oh, I'm, wait, that was really bad when I said <laughs> Why don't you just like, use the mm-hmm. Pikachu EX? And we're like, that required him to get one, Sammy. Come on. <laughs> If only it were that simple. Why didn't I think of that? <laughs> Why oh, I think of that oh, oops. Ooh, I right. do think that the the magic dust that they use for applying flare is going to probably be leveraged in the trading. It has to, right? Like otherwise, you could just make a hundred accounts and trade, like just pull I all the packs. I thought it is in the uh, go. Yeah, I, I I I think they'll probably use something similar. So. I love the flare mechanic. It's neat, but it's like maybe save your dust. Save your dust. Save, save, your, save dust, your dust, man. Otherwise, you'll be paying to trade them, probably. Oh, well, yeah. God one, knows. One of, uh, one of us. One of be. us will be. Yeah, that's for sure. Yeah. Uh, I would that never. Be... <laughs> no. You don't would have never your credit card information linked up to this game at all. No, no, I'm not using Apple Pay for this. No, no, I didn't do that once. No, just the one time. Just the one time, three times, and that's it. The that's baby, all I've done. Just baby three times. Whale. Baby whale. Just the one time, three times. That's it. Just twenty dollars. It's whatever. Yeah. Uh, Carrie and I are fighting about my finances now, so this is <laughs> it's a, a huge problem in the relationship. Is that why uh, you're in this whole different room? You're you yeah, got, we're, you're, yeah. You're <laughs> yeah, you're like an underground bunker now. <laughs> I only have access to my laptop. Uh, <laughs> she's taking away the phone. I recorded that video earlier. <laughs> Well, uh, yeah, no, things are going well. Things are going well. Uh, it seems an like episode, it. An episode with that, that everyone figure out what's going on in Valley's relationship. All right. And uh, have a good one, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Bye.